Imagine selecting a freelancer mission and every time you load in, you have a different time of day or you're in a location that isn't normally playable, which means you will come across various new NPCs and even elusive targets. And all that is possible thanks to the Freelancer Variations mod, which I want to show how to install and use. The first thing you need is the simple mod framework. I already made an extensive guide on that, so check that out if you don't have any prior knowledge about Hitman Free modding. If you have the simple mod framework installed, go to files and download the simple mod framework file, import it into the mod manager, enable and hit apply. Next we need the modding SDK. Just follow the link, click on here and then on the release.zip. When you download is finished, you have to extract this into the retail folder inside the admin free folder. By default, the installation paths look like this. But both Steam and Epic give you an option to look up your install location if you're having trouble finding it. Now we can download the Freelancer Variations SDK mod. As this is a .raw file, I would recommend using 7-zip to extract the content from it. Then copy these two, go back to a Hitman Free Retail folder, go to Mods and paste it in here. If we look at the installation instructions, we have the option to disable variants we don't want to appear. Click on this and you get to a site where you can see every variant available, and they are all enabled by default. The mod page is mentioning problems with landslide for instance, so let's disable that for both territory takedowns and showdowns, and then hit generate to get a new freelancer variations JSON. Now copy that, go to the retail folder again, delete the old one and replace it with the new one. And delete it from your downloads after. We can also get our new custom selection back in here, make even more changes to it and repeat the process. When you start the game now, a new menu will appear that can be toggled on and off at any time using the key underneath escape. You will see the modding SDK has many other awesome features as well, but for this video we will only focus on the variations mod. So we will only select freelancer variations and then hit OK. From now on, even if you already started a campaign, you will play in new locations and with different times of day. Chongqing in particular has very intriguing variations with a bunch of new NPCs and even a rooftop party, which is based on another custom bonus mission mod. If you have that installed by any chance, you need to select this option in your mod manager to avoid problems. If you're playing freelancer on Peacock, you only need the simple mod framework mod and the plugin and JSON added to your Peacock installation. And if you have no clue what I'm talking about, check out the Peacock guide down below. Lastly, what if you want to uninstall this mod again? Inside the mod manager, you disable and delete as usual. As for the modding SDK, if you only want the freelancer variations gone but you would like to keep all the other features, you delete these two in the mods folder. Very important, you will need to uninstall the entire modding SDK every time a new game update comes out. Then, you need to remove all the files we extracted in addition to these two. And when the modding SDK gets a new version, you can redo the installation. And now, have fun and enjoy freelancer even more than before.